Vector Edition in One Dimension. A quantity that has a magnitude, unit, and direction is called a vector quantity. In comparison, a scalar quantity is just a number or magnitude and a unit without any direction. Examples of a scalar quantity are distance, mass, time, and others, while displacement, force, and velocity are some examples of a vector quantity. You can represent a vector with an arrow. The length of the arrow represents the magnitude of the vector, and the direction of the arrow represents the direction of the vector. In this kind of representation, we would expect that a displacement of 5 meters to the east is shorter than a 10 meter displacement. The symbols of vector quantities are written with an arrow above, or sometimes with a partial arrow or a line, though in many cases, these are being ignored. A vector that represents the sum of two or more vectors is called resultant. It is represented by capital letter R. Let's say a boy walked 10 meters to the east. He stopped and traveled back to the west for 4 meters. Now, if we look at these two displacements and connect them together, we can say that both vectors lie on a straight line. This is where vector addition in one dimension comes in. The resultant of these two vectors can be computed using diagrams such as these arrows. We just need to connect these arrows from head to tail. We take note of the starting point and the ending points of the vectors. And we connect these two points together beginning from the starting point towards the ending point to get the resultant of these two vectors. You have to be very precise when using diagrams but sometimes it's difficult to observe accuracy. That's why analytical way of solving is very much preferred. If you want to add vectors using equations, then we need to review our x and y coordinate system. By convention, we assign east or right direction to the positive x axis, so anything that points to the east will get a positive sign. West is along the negative x axis, north is along positive y, and south is along the negative y axis. Our first vector, 10 meters east, therefore will get positive sign and our second vector will be negative. Now to get the resultant which is in this example is displacement, we will just add these vectors including their signs. So that is positive 10 meters plus negative 4 meters which is equal to positive 6 meters. The positive sign indicates the direction of the vector. In this case, positive means east and negative means west. Therefore, our final answer is 6 meters to the east. This can also help us compare between displacement, which is a vector quantity, and distance, which is a scalar quantity. Displacement is simply the distance between where the object started and where it ended, while distance is the complete path traveled by the object. In our example, the total distance will be 14 meters. In the case of diagonals, they are still considered one dimension as long as they lie on a straight line. You just need to assign which direction is negative and which will be positive so you can analytically solve for the resultant. The direction depends on the way you assigned your vectors. Like in this example, you can say that the direction is northeast if the angle is 45 degrees, or you can say that the direction is towards the direction of the 10 meter vector. For more examples, let's look at a man that runs 10 kilometers west, turns around, and runs 10 kilometers east. After identifying the signs, we can say that the resultant is zero. You can clearly see that using the diagrams as well, since the starting point is the same as the ending point. As for the second problem, the vectors are already listed. This time, these are forces. You can use arrows to represent them. After combining all of them, we can see that they lie on a straight line. 
Connecting the starting point and the ending point, we get 10 newtons that points south. That is if your diagram is accurate. Now if we use equation and after assigning which are the positive and the negative vectors, we'll get negative 10 newtons. The negative sign means that our direction is to the south. And that's how we add vectors in one dimension. Keep solving everyone, till next time!